lot. Hey everybody, this is Veronica. We are officially going live. This is our first live, so we're super excited. Um, we'll we'll give uh, we'll give it just a quick minute for uh, anyone else who wants to join us today to hop on. Um, so just so you know, I um, manage the customer service department here at Juvie and Michelle is behind the camera right now. Um, you're, we're basically part of the uh, customer service team here and we, you know, we're on the front lines every day. We are on live chat with you, you know, answering your questions. We are, you know, replying to your emails, um, anytime you have issues, product questions. Um, and we have, we thought it would be a great idea to go live and, and kind of just talk about some of those common questions we, we get um, that we feel might be super helpful to some of you. And anyone really shopping for a double stroller, um, if you have a toddler and newborn on the way and you're trying to figure out how to accommodate you know that combination um the caboose line will be very interesting to you and so one of the common questions we get is that uh if you uh, you know have heard of juvie you've probably heard of the uh, caboose no. stroller and it's our sit and stand um designs type of stroller and we have uh, several options. It kind of breaks down into a category of like three uh, different options. And so this video today, this live is all about just going over what those differences are. Um, because it can be a little overwhelming, you know, when you're um, shopping for double strollers or sit and stands and trying to understand, you know, which, what is the best fit for you. And it's awesome. There's so many options out there and, you know, we offer you three different options just for our one design. Um, but one of the most common questions we get, um, especially through our live chat feature is, okay, what are those differences between the three models and um, we're gonna break it out for you today we're gonna talk about the caboose sit and stand this is our basic version right here you'll see it uh, under caboose graphite uh, we're gonna talk about the caboose ultralight option and what the upgrades and benefits and features are and then we're then we're gonna uh, go over the caboose S and that would be our most premium option there so um stick around uh we're gonna just uh go over each one um michelle are we pretty good to go and yeah if you, good. if you have any questions throughout you know the live today i mean that's kind of what we uh we're, we're hoping to do is just answer your questions give you a chance to you know directly like talk to us one-on-one -on -one. if you have a you know a specific question maybe you've been browsing our website and you're interested in um, a certain product um, and you just you just like to know a little more about it um, Michelle and I are here to answer those questions so she's gonna be fielding all of those uh, you know any questions that come through and um, and if you have another product that you'd love to like learn more about we're going to be doing a live every single day for the rest of this week let us know what you want to and let us know what products you want to know more about um you know some products are a little more technical than others and so it's kind of nice to have someone just kind of take you through and give you like a full demo um you know our website is great it gives you a lot of good detail um but to have someone kind of take you through is also really nice and so we thought, who better than the customer service team um, here at Juvie? So I volunteered to be the first one. <laughs> so I'll go today. Um, but uh, you might see, you know, someone else tomorrow. And we're, um, 
you know, we're, we're excited and we think it's going to be fun. So, all right. So are we ready to go? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's start with, um, the similarities. So I'm showing you the three different caboose versions here. Every single one of these gives you um, the sit and stand feature, okay? So if we look at this stroller, every single one will have a built-in standing platform and a built-in bench seat. Okay, that's, that's one of the things that's so neat about these type of strollers is that you can accommodate a toddler so easily who's probably mostly walking but still has a needs a place to rest and sit when they are tired um, which does happen so what's neat about the caboose strollers is they're essentially the size of a single stroller they're very small they're very compact they fold very small and all three of them have this feature they all have a built-in standing platform and a built-in bench seat. Another similarity for all three of them is they are all car seat compatible, okay? So Caboose, Caboose Ultralight, Caboose S, every single one of those is going to be car seat compatible. Um, so what you're looking at here is almost like our, um, uh, here you have like our basic model and then you have um, our upgraded version, the Caboose Ultralight. So it's, it's kind of that mid-level uh, product. And then you have the Cadillac of strollers, is what we call it around here, you know, uh, the Caboose S right over here. So to break that down, all three strollers have a built-in standing platform, a built-in bench seats with the harness and all three of them are car seat compatible we have our first question oh okay can i use any car seat okay that's a great question so we have and are always updating a, a compatibility list for all of our strollers if you're on our website go to the top right hand corner under customer care and click on car seat compatibility chart. What that will show you is every single car seat that's compatible with each one of our strollers. So if you're shopping for the Caboose Ultralight, go to the Caboose Ultralight column and the car seats that match up for that column, every single one of those will work with the stroller. So what's neat about the Caboose and Caboose Ultralight is they each actually come with a universal car seat adapter. And it looks like this. And what you do is you attach it to the front part of the stroller and there's a strap on each side of the seat. So car seat will just nest right into the stroller and you strap the car seat in. Um, super simple, super easy. And what, what it does, it makes it compatible with so many different brands. And so that's one thing that's so awesome about Juvie is that a lot of our strollers are compatible with like most of the major car seat brands. And we're always testing, we're always adding, you know, new car seats as they're released. And so that, that's, um, that's how you find like if your car seat is compatible with one of these strollers or if your car seat shopping um, and you're you know considering this stroller this might help you kind of make a, a decision and go with like a car seat that you know is compatible now the caboose s has a click in car seat adapter which is also really neat um, and it's specific to uh, each brand. So you have a couple of different car seat adapter options that are sold separately for the Caboose S. Uh, so that's what's a little bit different um, for car seat, car seat uh, compatibility. But that was a great question. That's another one we hear mm -hmm. like all the time. And so that car seat compatibility chart is, is so handy um, and you can find it right there under customer care on the top right hand side of our website. Okay, 
So why don't we break it down and go over the upgrades of the Caboose Ultralight and the versus like the Caboose. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at with these two. They, they look pretty similar, um, but it's kind of neat when you start looking at the differences and this might help you kind of make a decision ver versus like one or the other, depending on what you're looking for. And that's what it kind of comes down to, like what um, you really want out of your stroller and what you know is really the best fit for you. And so that's why we offer you know a couple of different models um, to give you that opportunity to um, find one that works better for you. And so some of the upgrades you're gonna find with the Caboose Ultralight versus the Caboose. Number one, the Caboose Ultralight is 21% lighter. Okay, I'm 5'2", <laughs> I'm not super tall, and I can pick this stroller up like so easily. Um, I mean, it's awesome. And this is a double stroller we're talking about. So it comes in about 22.5 pounds. The average double stroller, you're looking at at least 30 pounds. So you're getting, you know, really nice light double stroller. And that's one thing that makes the ultralight so popular. Um, number two upgrade is the included parent organizer. So with the Caboose ultralight, you will get a parent organizer that not only has, it's made of neoprene, not only has these two cup holders, it also has a zippered pocket, which is so nice, super handy for like your keys, um, your phone, smaller personal items. And then it has this coverage right here, which is really cool for the sitting toddler. Um, so it's, it's really awesome. It just zips onto the back part of the canopy here. And if you want to remove it, like if a toddler wants to stand, you would just zip it right off and roll it right into, back into this pocket right here. So this is a $30 value that is included with the Caboose Ultralight. So that's something to definitely keep in mind and to consider when you're shopping, you know, with like the Caboose versus the Caboose Ultralight. Um, another thing that's really neat is the canopy size. So the coverage on the canopy for the ultralight is actually a lot wider um, than the Caboose Graphite. They both kind of have a good, uh, good size canopy coverage, but the ultralight is just kind of like full. So that's another thing that's really a huge plus. You have this front visor section that you can lift or you can always um, lift or even remove the canopy altogether for any of the strollers if you ever wanna do that. Um, another upgrade for the Caboose Ultralight, you get a four wheel suspension on this stroller. Um, each wheel has sealed bearings inside, so it just gives you like a really nice extra smooth push with it. So you really get that smooth feel. And so this particular model that I'm showing you right now, this is our limited edition version, which um, kind of really only until supplies last, but I wanted to show it to you guys because not a lot of people know about it and it's actually really, really nice. So some of the upgrades with the limited edition version, you can find it on our website now, is you get a taller seat back, you actually get um, this UV protection here under the canopy, which is really cool. The material, the stroller fabric is just super premium. I mean, you can really feel it. You can see it. It's a melange look. It's really nice. And you get a leatherette handlebar versus uh, neoprene or foam. And so that's, um, that's what makes the limited edition um, a little bit unique, uh, but it's a Caboose Ultralight stroller. So, um, so the upgrades we spoke about, that's what you would be getting. And so anytime you see a TOO, like Caboose 2 graphite, 
or Caboose 2 Ultralight or Caboose 2 S, the T-O-O, -O, um, it, it kind of confuses some customers. All that means is that that particular stroller includes a full-size rear seat that you can actually attach. You see the knobs here on the stroller itself. You attach that seat here and it gives you a full seat to actually convert this into a double seater. And that's super cool when you have like a much younger toddler, let's say they're like one and a half, two, and they're not quite ready to use the bench seat function. That rear seat is awesome and it kind of gets you through that time frame. So when you see Caboose 2 Graphite, you're getting this stroller with the additional full size rear seat and same for the other models, okay? So we'll break that down again here. So we have the Caboose Graphite, the Caboose Ultralight, and we have the Caboose S over here. All three of them have a built-in standing platform. All three of them have a built-in bench seat and all three of them are car seat compatible. And I would also say all three of them have a very compact fold. So that's always really nice. Um, so we went over the Caboose Ultralight upgrades. So we'll just cover the bullet points. It's 21% lighter than the Caboose Graphite, the original, the basic version. It has, uh, it includes a $30 parent organizer that also has coverage for your sitting toddler pockets for your cup holder here. Um, four wheel suspension, seal bearings in the wheels. So it gives you a nice, very smooth ride. The weight difference is so worth it in my opinion. Um, the Caboose is not a heavy stroller. It's pretty standard, actually. But when you pick up the Caboose Ultralight, I, I would be sold mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty quickly because it is so light. Like, it's, it's hard to show you. Um, but, I, I mean, I am not a big person. <laughs> I'm only 5'2". And I feel just super comfortable carrying this stroller i could fold it up you know store it in my car trunk and do that you know super easily so that's that's what you're getting with the caboose ultralight upgrades okay all right cool so the the last comparison i'll take you through is our caboose ultralight model and caboose s um, our most premium caboose and we call this the Cadillac of strollers because it really is all about like just quality and luxury and like the best of the best and you get so much more um, so let's talk about the differences so with the caboose s you're going to get a much higher weight capacity for the seats so for the Caboose and Caboose Ultralight, you're looking at a max weight uh, capacity of 45 pounds per seat, which is really good for a stroller. But with the Caboose S, you're looking at 55 pounds per seat. So that's huge, that's awesome. So the, the higher the weight capacity, like, you know, the, the better always, right? So 55 pound, max weight capacity per seat for the Caboose S here. And the Caboose S um, really just offers you more and better. So you're gonna get a bigger canopy with more coverage. There's actually a zipper that allows you to make this canopy even bigger. So, Ta -da! yes, <laughs> this is something we like to show off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look at this. And the material, everything, like the canopy is just beautiful. You can kind of tell here, um, the handlebar is made of leatherette and it just feels great. Okay, so you're, you're talking about just like 
the best of the best. You get more weight capacity. You get actually more spacious seating as well with um, you know the 55 pound weight capacity here. And the big one is you get more configurations. You get a total of eight configurations possible here. So what does that mean? Um, one of the biggest features is that you can actually click car seat in the back part of the stroller or the front. So you get that option. Um, and like I said, it's a click in design. So it's super easy. Just car seat goes right in to the base here. You can see the car seat slots. So your car seat adapter would go in these slots right here. And what that allows you to do is to have now a toddler uh, in the front, you know, seeing the world um, strapped in and it just gives you that option, um, which is really, really nice. Um, the tray even is so cool. I mean, it's, uh, you have two cup holders with it. Um, it's easy to remove. So you just push on these little buttons right here and everything is just so beautiful. You have the gray melange fabric. It's very cushioned, very plush. Of course, you know, recline feature. Um, everything about this stroller is just like more and better and top of the line, like the tires. I mean, let's look at those tires. The wheels are full rubber wheels and they're huge. I mean, we can compare them here to the Caboose Ultralight. And you see what I'm talking about? You have, I mean, you're gonna have such a smooth push with the Caboose S. It, it just gives you that all-terrain push, that all-terrain feel, but it's your sit and stand stroller. Um, it also has a compact fold. In fact, it has a standing fold, so it'll stay standing upright for you. And you have accessories like the parent organizer, which are full of pockets. You have some mesh pockets here, extra cup holder. Um, there's more accessories available for the Caboose S than any of the other models. We even have like the, the, the handles. Bassinet. Uh, we, it's also bassinet compatible. So you can actually click a bassinet right into the Caboose S. Um, so it, it really just kind of gives you all those functions and more space. If you compare even like the storage basket space, it is like crazy. It's so much more it's space. It's kind of like every mother's dream, <laughs> you know, like kind of like it, it just hits on all those like um, you know, just that wish list, you know, the bullet points for every single mother. I mean, you would always want more storage space, you know, spacious seating for the kids, good coverage, um, a really nice, easy, smooth push, um, you know, the high weight capacities, that's always been a big one. And you get just the best of, you know, just all the features. So like the leather at handlebar, the beautiful canopy fabric. I mean, I love these canopies. They're so soft, um, they're water resistant, they just work really well, and they're not loud. That's another thing. They're just, you know, really subtle. Um, you can remove the canopy if, you know, if you don't need it that day, it's easy to just take out. Um, but the Caboose S is definitely, you know, that, premium, you know, that Cadillac. I mean, you, you get so much more um, and you get really the top of line quality for a sit and stand. Um, and, you know, all of our strollers are pretty easy to assemble. Um, that's another thing that's really nice. Most of our products, you, I mean, you just, uh, you know, attach wheels and you're good to go. Same for the Caboose S. The wheels have a quick release option so they just just um you can just click them off and click them back in so very easy you know to kind of work everything 
Um, so if you have any questions, if you just joined a little bit ago and trying to figure out like what's going on, what are they talking about, what, what's Juvie doing, <laughs> we are going over our caboose line. Um, Michelle's behind the camera, I'm Veronica, we're part of the customer service team here at Juvie and you know we're all product experts, you kind of become one. Um, you know, when you're on the front lines, just answering, you know, all these questions and different inquiries about the product. And we thought it would be fun to do a live and kind of answer some of those questions for you and just talk about common questions. And the number one question would definitely be, what is the difference with your caboose stroller line? What is the difference between the caboose graphite? versus the Caboose Ultralight and the Caboose S. So now you know there's really three, essentially there's three models. You have the basic version, the mid price point version, the Caboose Ultralight, and then you have the Caboose S, the most premium option. We have some questions. All right, so we have another question that came through. Okay, um, retailers. Okay. Another great question. So you can find um, all of these strollers and all of our products, of course, on our website, juvie.com. But you also can find Juvie on Amazon, Target, Walmart, Bye Bye Baby, Baby List, and some specialty retailers as well. But those, those would be like the major retailers that you can find, Juvie. So um, this is the, you know, small portion of our entire line. Um, tomorrow we'll go over a different product, but, uh, those retailers, uh, you can find any Juvie product uh, um, for sure. Price points. Uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, the prices vary slightly, uh, depending on color sometimes or availability. Um, but the range you're looking at for the Caboose Graphite, um, 129 to 149 mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. um, Caboose Ultralight, this is actually our limited edition, so it's priced uh, a little bit higher than just the, the Caboose Ultralight. Um, you're looking at a range from 229 maybe to 249. Um, the Caboose S version, you're looking at a range of like 399 um, to 429 kind of in that price point so if you have any other questions we're here she wants we're, um, we're somebody happy wants, to answer them somebody wants to know how to um, they want you to show how to fold it yay <laughs> I knew that was coming yeah. <laughs> all right let's do it okay so do they want to see how the caboose s is folded or just any of any stroller what what stroller let's do you want to see folded and we'll we'll do it <laughs> So, I mean, we can actually fold all three of them here for you. Yeah. Um, let's start with the, the Caboose and the Caboose Ultralight actually have the exact same fold. So I can take you through the Caboose one here. Um, all you're going to do is first you're just going to unlock this lever right here. This is actually just that secondary lock to keep the stroller folded. I mean, uh, open, locked. So you disengage. I always recommend that you um, set your brakes. It just always makes it easier to fold any stroller. So brakes, number two. And then you have these white triggers here. Notice there you have one on each side. So all you're gonna do um, is lift on those triggers. So I'm gonna close my canopy here. That also makes it a little bit easier. So you lift the triggers and if you step on the standing platform just slightly, you can actually bring the stroller up to you. So check this out, look how easy this is. I, I didn't even have to like- You didn't have to bend, bend over, bend down. nothing. I mean, <laughs> that's um, a juvie trick. So <laughs> just share that with all of you. Um, it's called the back saver. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Sure. Yes. I love that. Okay, so there's another lever to keep the stroller folded. What you're gonna do is simply engage that right here. 
And that makes it easy for you to just carry the stroller, you know, put it away, store it, and it stays in that folded position. So to unlock, you would release that lever and you can just hear it click open. That's it. The Caboose S folds slightly different and I'll take you through that. And what you're gonna be working with is actually a tab right here in the very center of the handlebar. You're just gonna bring it out. See this, this gray tab? And then it just goes right back in, right into this housing right here. And then you simply just, same thing, you push forward. So I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna set my brakes, tab out, goes right back in, and same movement, you just bring, you can bring the stroller to you. And um, this particular stroller actually has a standing fold. So it will uh, stay uh, standing for you. So you would just disengage these locks to open it. And you can hear it click open as well. So it's easy to do. You know, I am... I'm the mom that likes things to just be easy <laughs> and simple. I just want stuff to function and work. And, uh, you know, there's plenty, uh, you know, things going on, especially, you know, with younger children, you want your products to just work and, and function. You just, you want them to be easy to handle. You want the features to be easy to do. And you really get that with every one of the models. So they're all really great options. <laughs> so, um, someone asked, does it have a standing fold? And yes, it does. the Caboose S has a standing fold, mm -hmm. yes. And how much does it weigh? Uh, it weighs 30 pounds, which is about average for your traditional double stroller. Um, and it folds super compactly for the size of the stroller, mm. so I like that. And the frame is a little bit longer than yes. the others. So you're looking about two inches longer on the Caboose S, and that's where you get that space from. So that's how you get the larger storage basket, the larger, um, the more spacious seating. More leg room. If you have bigger children. For the kids, yeah. You know, um, I have quite a few in my family, you know, nieces and nephews um, that are, you know, off the charts. So it's nice to have a stroller that's really going to grow with them. Um, so the Caboose S is definitely my recommendation. Um, if you're really looking for more space, like more spacious seating, um, more storage space, um, more weight capacity, that would be your best option for sure. So someone asked if this has a swing away tray, the caboose S the caboose mm -hmm. line does not have a swing away tray, but I would say for this sure the, oh, the caboose S does. Yeah, this oh, one does. Okay. Sorry. I was wrong. <laughs> Thank the you, others, Michelle. No, that's okay. Okay. So there's a lot to remember. Kaboo says yes. So the way it works is there's a button here. And voila. There you go. <laughs> it's really easy to do. There's just simply a button under that you press. All right. Any other questions? We're here for you. So um if um, if you have a product that you have kind of been having on your radar that you have questions about or you'd like us to take thoroughly in a demo like this today, um, shoot us a DM on Instagram. We are going to be doing one tomorrow and we'll be happy to talk about any products that you guys are interested in. We have such a vast line that, um, I mean, we can talk about a different product every day of the month. So tell us what product you want us to go over and we're gonna be happy to jump on again and do another live and take you through any of those features. Um, so today we covered the Caboose line. If you have any other questions, just DM us and we'll be happy to, to reach out and answer any of those questions. 
All right. So we're going to wrap it up for today's live, our very first one. Um, that was super fun. Um, jump back in tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do another one at 3 p.m., and that's central time. We're going to cover the uh, – we're looking at the feeding category. So uh, you might see the um, – the baby bottles, the uh, pacifiers, and some of the accessories for the bottles. So um, thank you for joining us today, and we'll, we will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.